everybody. Yeah. I know Tim is for sure. Tim's having a great time. Yes. Hope you guys are having a blast. Don't forget, tonight, the last act of the night, Weezer's going to be on the home play stage. I hope everybody's been enjoying the whole weekend. All the music, the festivities off the mound. We've been having a blast. I'm your host, Ryan Dempster. This is the band, the Hemispheres. Let's give it up for the Hemispheres. Yeah. Everybody. Um, spring training, a beautiful time of year. So many great things. We got interesting things happening in baseball. All kinds Jeters. of news going on. What's that? Jeters. Jeters. <laughs> Derek Jeters. Yeah, he made the Hall of Fame. That's cool. Jeters out. Uh, super successful guy. <laughs> Let me guess. You're the one guy who didn't vote for him in the Hall of Fame. That's okay. Um, a lot of stuff going on. The Houston Astros science field stuff. You guys seen this? We've been talking about every show. It's the big thing, right? This is this is real life stuff. You know, and I think it's uh, it's not just in baseball. I mean, we, they talked about it. It came from the front office. There was like a code breaker scheme going on, and I work in the front office for the Cubs, and I found out about this. Yeah, right away, I was like, enough. This is not going to happen. Not on my watch. So. Uh, I kind of tried to put an end to it, and I'm just going to show you guys a little video that I made, and you guys can just see for yourselves. So we'll just throw that up here. We got a problem. There's an epidemic right now, and I'm looking for answers. I'm putting an end to this. That's right. You hear me? You think you can get away with it? You got another thing coming. took this? Was it you? What did I say about stealing the signs off the ball? I'm finding you. Hey, where do you think you're going with that? going with that sign. You didn't get the memo? Yeah. Well, there might be a problem with sign stealing. Not here at Wrigley while I'm in charge. That's right. I'm on. Not going to be an issue on the north side of Chicago, I can assure you that. Um, but you know what? It is kind of a little sad. Like I saw the other day, it's been training game. Some guy had a Houston Asterix sign. You know, he's really clever. Who would have thought of that? And he put that up there, and then the usher took it, which is really weird that now their ushers are stealing signs too, but whatever. <laughs> get over that. Um, it's a big day. Um, before I kind of get into it, I'm a huge Harry Carey fan. I love Harry Carey. <laughs> The ability to storytell through the game without ever mentioning anything about the game other than the out that happened, you know? And I do Harry Carey impersonations. Some people who know that about me that are here today might know that. But I'm not here to do that because um, recently I got a phone call and in my voicemail was this really weird message and I was like, man, okay. You know, I see on Twitter all these people that say it's terrible, don't do that, stop that, you're awful at that, leave that alone. And then I think, well, man, why did I ever come to this website? So I found my voicemail, and uh, I just want to share with you guys a little bit about that from this person I got a voicemail from. So can we throw that up there? Hello again, everybody. It's a beautiful night for a talk show. This is Harry Carey leaving a voicemail message for Ryan Dumpster. Holy cow. Boy, oh, boy. Ryan, listen, you do a lot of great things. Between these talk show stuff that you do to raise money for charity and other things that you're involved in, all the things you did while you were a member of the club and other organizations of the major league, you're also a pitcher on the Canadian Olympic team, and you're always willing to lend a hand whenever necessary. That being said, I got a bone to pick with you, young man. It's about this invitation that you do of a certain Hall of Fame broadcaster who will remain nameless, me. <laughs> you know, 
They say that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, but not in this case, of course. I have to have, really have you cease and desist any further uh, use of my uh, voice or attempting to use the voice because it's not very good. If you do decide to continue to use that uh, voice, as much as I would discourage you, I can't make you stop. But for all of our sakes, could you just give it a rest for crying out loud? Just let it go, right? Don't do it anymore, please. So long, everybody. Yes. That officially is maybe stop. So you will never hear that again. You need a phone call from heaven and Harry Carey says that. Then, all right, we're going to do that. But today is a very special day. It is actually Harry's birthday today. So I would love everybody here to join with us in a nice little rendition of happy birthday. John? Thank you guys for coming out tonight. We'll be right back with our first guest right after this. Yeah.